<laughs> so I do narrow stance with these two because I like to work my outers and more of my butt too. So girls, that's the feet placement if that's the area that you're looking to work. <laughs> All right. How many? Ten? Ten, please. Ten, ten. Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful. There's nothing more beautiful than shit. Come on. Hey, where's the walk? <laughs> He's going to question you now. Oh, we had this little thing. Or you can stand up again and call me. Yeah, call this guy in the background. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Sean. Woo! Here you go. Alright. Good job. Is it set number three? Yep. Set number three, only four more to go. Yep. Oh, yeah. After this. How much weight you got on that, Mark? There's 720 on there. You get 10, they might not be pretty. Let's go, Mark. You get 10. <laughs> Go right. This is for breast cancer. I'd like to regain my stamina for a second. <laughs> Almost lost it. Six, go. Come on, you got this. Seven. Good job. Eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Eight. Good. Awesome. Come on, Shane. You got it. All right, last one. Oh, come on. Drive it. Drive it. Good job, bro. <laughs> Mark's got me to make noise. I never thought. <laughs> So, <laughs> 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 Mark. This is four, right? Yeah, seven Eight, ten. Four. four out of seven. Let's go. Leave it and achieve it. <laughs> Let's go, Nick. Somewhere around that. That's not that's in place it's not well. Nine. Ten. Plus it's right around a thousand. But like after, me. Like but me. after seven <laughs> sets, plus another five sets of that, so steep. Let's go, Mark. Whoa. Ladies in particular, 
A great exercise for the glutes, aka the butt, ass, dunk, whatever you want to call it, is the dolphin kick. And actually, you're going to see Shannon over here demonstrate it, and she can break it down for you. Much better than I can. <laughs> okay, ladies, so what we're going to do is grab a weight bench. And I guess you could call this kind of like a 30 degree angle, right? That's what we'll say, a 30 degree angle. And you're going to bring right up to about here in your pelvis. You're going to, like this, grab onto the bench, your elbows here, and you're just going to bring your legs up like this. So you're going to try and do like 15 to 20 of them. And when you do these, you're going to feel it really target your butt and your hamstrings. Really good exercise for that, and it's simple. <laughs> How many sets do you do? Four, three? I usually do three sets of 15 of these at the end of a workout. I usually do Three sets, 15, burnout exercise, great for the buttons. All right, let's drive you nuts. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Getting chewed up. Yeah. Stop saying I'm getting chewed up, but it also just helps you grip. It adheres your grip to the bar better. Okay. It takes out the strain and all your stabilizing muscles. It really just adheres the bar right to your grip. Okay. I'm try them out. Yeah. Am I going first? Big back grips. Who's going first? Come on, what are we doing? All right, we're gonna do some straight leg deadlifts. So 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 far, what we did with the squats, squats uh, isolate the quads, the quads a little bit and the ass a lot. Nothing that we've really done in isolates the hamstrings. We went to the leg press, almost almost completely quads. So what this does, it stretches out the bottom of the glutes, all the hamstrings. This is a total hamstring isolation exercise. We do three sets of this, then we're gonna do three sets of a single leg hamstring exercise. We'll go from there. Leg straight, hold the straight leg deadlift for a reason. Hands just outside your legs, head up, go straight leg through the whole thing. You bend your knees, it becomes a regular deadlift, and you start injecting your back muscles. You keep your knees locked, it's 100% hamstring. Mark just explained it, but the more times you hear something, the better it is. Again, like he said, Simple rules of the deadlift, keep the weight on your heels, keep your head up, back straight, butt out, chest out. Again, the difference is you're keeping your knees straight and locked this time instead of bending them. But doing that, you're allowing all the tension to stretch on your hamstrings. And when you come up, you contract your hamstrings and pull bit your glutes as well. And basically catapult your entire movement through the hamstrings. That's one thing a lot of bodybuilders, particularly teens, lack. Hamstring development. Do it again. These are hamstrings. And they should oh, come out. Oh, I feel like... Right there. Okay. Go like straight. Don't bend those knees. Keep my muscles straight. Yeah. Okay. So your knees are nice and straight. It allows a nice stretch right in the hamstring. And it contracts all in the hamstring as well. Beautiful. The entire move is being... Track and stretch right in the hamstrings. That's why you don't need a lot of weight because it's not a back exercise. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, just I love that. <laughs> Where should I get them? Bigbackgroups.com. So right. <laughs> My cameraman's got the hat on. Keep that rolling. Get that rolling. Let me see that hat. See that hat real quick. Let me uh. see that. All right. <laughs> My hat back. Awesome. <laughs> that I know. 
I, I picked up forks with it one time. <laughs> So you take your second pedal in a row. Vegas, baby. This website called Rise to the Top. Yeah. And it's something that's like really, really big, huge exposure. But my topic of discussion is um, teens and self-esteem. Oh yeah. Women, um, teenage girls, and boys, all that stuff, whatever. And I think that this could be great. But I think it would be really good because he's he's got a lot of followers, yeah. just like yourself. And the topic that I'm doing is kind of something that I'm trying to work on is with high school girls and middle school girls. And, and, and boys too is a lot of issues with self-esteem and oh, taking yeah, my title and trying to use it in a positive way. <laughs> so. This exercise, like extension, the last 20% is 100% BMO. See how that flexes at the last end? That's my BMO right there. Like extensions definitely focus on that teardrop for all the slang terms. The teardrop right there, obviously you should form shape of a tear. But uh, in competition, that's very important and like extension is definitely the best exercise because if you, you'll notice at the top, come to the top of that, flex, extend, right there, bam. See how much that comes out? Target is that better than any other exercise? It's only 165, so. The key is to keep your legs glow in the dark white. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> the key is to give me shit while I'm in the machine so I can't chase you. Exactly. <laughs> Not like you can run too far to my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, but I decided not to. So the couch is on the next. Ten? I don't know if I can do it for ten. Once again, if a girl's gonna beast with me, she's gonna beast the way. So Shannon's doing the same thing we just did. It's 165. She's gonna get ten. Right? <laughs> guys, <in> five. <laughs> Come on, put a lot of guys to share with you. Come on. Don't make me help you. Good. Just Come for on. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Good job. 255 pounds. Let's go, Mark. Come on. Right now, <laughs> so she's tracking. So I'm back in with these guys. Shannon was 100% natural. So you competitor? Yep. <laughs> At 22 and three quarters for the big Woo! Shannon. Very nice. <laughs> Here you go. You want to make 26. <laughs> <laughs> I shrug. That's 26 competition shredding. You are not allowed to make fun of his white legs anymore. 24 and three quarters. That's tight too. So 25 inches on the next day. Yeah. Give me body. Come on. This guy just hangs around. 